Paul Farbrace, welcome to Sussex. How do you feel to be the new head coach here? Yeah, very excited. Um, can't wait to get started. It's a brilliant opportunity. Um, there's so many good things about this club, um, and it's a club steeped in history and tradition that, you know, I, I hope that I can be a part of and, and help this club to uh, have, have another fantastic period on the field, but off the field as well. You know, there's so much potential, um, and it's a really exciting project to get stuck into. And you're an extremely experienced coach. You've coached Sri Lanka, England. You were more recently with Warwickshire in a sporting director or director of cricket. What was it about this job that appealed to you most? Um, I think I think the opportunity to really build something and get stuck into something is the thing that really appeals to me. Um, as I say, franchise cricket is great. I've, I've enjoyed that. But you're bringing together a, a group of players for a very short period of time, trying to win a trophy and move on again. This is an opportunity to develop something, not just for this season, but hopefully over the next um, you know, few years to come and, and really help the club to get to where they want to get to and where the members and supporters want them to be, which is challenging again. You know, the, the, the pictures of all the members outside here on the outfield looking up at the balcony you know, with various captains, Chris Adams, whatever, holding the trophy up, the county championship, that's what you want to be part of. And, and you want to feel as though you're striving towards that, not you know, sort of jogging along and doing okay, but really striving towards producing something that's very special for members, supporters, players, staff, everyone to be part of. And what can Sussex fans and members expect from your brand of cricket? How, how will the teams approach it for you? Um, look, I, I, I believe in playing cricket in a very positive way. You know, I want players to go out and play and show their skills off. Don't be, don't hide them away. You know, you've got, you've got to this level because you're very skillful and you've got a lot of talent. Don't hide it away. Don't, don't make excuses for not being successful. Get out there and give yourself the best chance. And, and if, you, if you play in the right way and you play for the team and you play the, the way the team wants you to play and you make decisions based for the good of the team, you'll find yourself playing. If you don't and you play for yourself or you play cautiously, don't be surprised if you're not playing. And how do you assess the squad? We've obviously got a lot of young talent here. We have Pajara coming back again. We've signed Jaden Seals. We have Finney here. How do you assess the squad when you look at, the, look at it as a whole? Look, I think there's huge potential and, I, and I'll be putting a lot of emphasis on Pajara, Jaden Seals, Ravi, um, Stephen Finn to really be the excellent senior players that they are. And the best thing a senior player can do more than anything else is perform. Score your runs, take your wickets. And if you do that, you allow your young players to develop around you. But I think the one thing that we will have to do is stop talking about the potential for young players, and I've done it um, in, in the last week or so. Let's stop talking about the potential for these young players and let's start saying, to them, come on, now's the time to perform. Show us that you've actually got these performances in you. Show us that all the coaches that have gone before over the last few years that have got you to this stage have backed the right people, because that's what we're looking for. We're looking for people with character, we're looking for people who've got the desire to be the best they can be and we're looking for people who really want to help Sussex win games of cricket and if that's you then fantastic let's get behind you and support you so look, I, you know th th there will be a level of expectation on the senior players though to really step up and play their part um, and as I say the best way a senior player can do that is to take wickets and score runs. And one player you do know very well for Sussex Ollie Robinson who's actually your stepson not sure many people know but He's obviously been in fantastic form for England. How happy are you to see him there taking wickets and putting in performances like he is at the moment? Yeah, look, he's fantastic for Oliver. I'm, I'm you know, chuffed to bits because I've obviously followed his progress for a long period of time, been involved in that for a long period of time in, in various different ways. So look, I, I'm thrilled for him, but I hope he acts as an inspiration to others here. You know, when Joffre's here, Ravi's here, Stephen Finn, Oliver, people that have played for England, and in Joffre's case and Oliver's case, who are currently playing for England, you, you want them to inspire the other players in the team. You want them to inspire others to think, I want to be part of that. I, I want to do what he's doing. And, and I hope that when they're here, that they are inspirational characters and they should be. Um, but look, I, I'm, you know, of course I'm pleased with Oliver, I want him to do well. Um, I hope that he wins us a few games this year, but I hope he doesn't spend too much time with us and I hope he spends a lot of time with the England team and England continue to do well because that, you know, that gives us all a great knock-on effect. So the winning Royal Pindi yesterday, absolutely huge English cricket and it shows that actually county cricket is not too bad a place, is it? It's producing great players to play for England and we can go and win test matches in Pakistan. So uh, there's a lot of good about English cricket at the moment. And then just one last question, what would be your message to Sussex fans for, for the season ahead? Well, it's the same as it will be to the players. Let's raise the level of expectation. Let's not talk about potential. Let's start talking about performance. And let's turn up here expecting to win games, not hoping to win games.